Okay, using probability to make fair decisions. So let's talk about this. Basically, um, using the probability of something. So like the odds are one in five. Like how do we use that probability to make it fair? So let's talk about this more. And this uh, lesson activity, I'll give you that on your own counting rule. Okay, kind of talked about this in another lesson. Um, you, know, you flip a coin, what happens when you flip a coin? Here are 32 candidates for this post. So toss a coin five times to get them equal chance of being picked, something like that. All right, lesson activity, I'll have you do this on your own. Same thing as this, counting rule, it just talks about, here's a formula for a counting rule. Um, what is going on when you roll a dice or when you spin the center? So there's six sides on a dice and you have a one in six chance of rolling one, two, three, four, five, or six. Um, spinner, depending on how many colors you have on it, say there's eight colors, one and eight. Three colors, one and three, something like that. Okay, so let's go activity. We'll skip this and this. Counting rule three, um, cards in a deck basically here, like you, you have a chance of picking X number of cards. Say there's four aces. So you have a chance of picking one, four for aces. Okay, so let's go to the next part. Lesson activity and this, we'll just skip that, do that on your own. Counting rule four, you're talking about like, it's using like a lottery game for an example. Like what are the odds of picking this number? And there's like several numbers in the lottery so your chances are pretty low and the amount of people that enter is kind of what it's showing right here the lesson activity will you do this on your own counting rule five drawing cards and picking something like that again and here are the different rules um so we have rule one if k outcomes can occur during each of n trials of an experiment, then k to the n, different sequences can result. Rule two, if k1 outcomes can occur during a trial of one experiment and k2 outcomes can occur during a trial of another experiment, then k1, k2, different sequences can result. Rule three, the number of ways that n objects can be arranged in order is n to the like exclamation point power it just goes on and on like that it's um another way to represent probability rule four the number of ways selecting of selecting r objects from n objects when the order of selection matters is and then it gives you the formula rule five the number of ways of selecting r objects from n objects is when the order of selection does not matter so here's another formula Hope that uh, just kind of gives you a little bit better understanding of it and I uh, hope you enjoyed.